fiction all the time and watch films. I love human stories that give us joy, that makes us laugh and cry, enriches us with understanding of other beings. I love doing theatre with children and young people because this is the way that they can explore human stories and also celebrate rich cultural heritage that we have. Because I am an image person, I remember things better in visual form as compared to numbers and words. My father used to own a cloth shop where I used to go there for a couple of hours every day during my teens. I was less interested in facilitating the customers who would come up to the shop, but was more interested in the patterns, designs, and the colors that was around me. I studied computer sciences in my college, and I eventually graduated in the subjects that I had a relationship of love and hate. Um, I tried to it, I tried to continue working professionally in computer sciences, but was, I was unable to do so because my heart was not in it. But I wanted to do arts. Uh, one thing that it was very hard at that time to make such decisions, because back in 12, 13 years ago, computer sciences was socially perceived lucrative career, and it was very difficult to go for something which I didn't had any professional training or when you come from a certain uh, middle class background. Uh, I started to practice theater, photography, visual arts, um, cre creative design, and eventually that earned me an arts management fellowship with the DeVos Institute of Arts Management, uh, Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts in DC. When I came back um, after two years working in the Kennedy Center for one year, I knew that I am going to work for children and young people who has a very limited scope of the world they look at or have an image of. Um, I started to teach drama education in Ali Institute of Education, but after three years I realized that it's going to take a long time when you are teaching drama education that how to use arts in a classroom to teach children maths and science if you are training 20 teachers in six months. And also there was a social perception that arts is only is, uh, uh, is, is either it's an elitist activity or it's actually for a certain limited people who have a certain interest in arts. It's not for carriers. Uh, I knew that we are going to have bigger platforms where we can engage teachers, families, children equally and celebrate art as a vehicle for children to learn and, and, and celebrate their leadership skills rather than judging them from their uh, uh, mark sheets that they would bring in. Um, it's a, I found it a little art because also there was a strong reason that every children, every child has a human right to, expe to express what he or she feels. Um, it's very important that children and young people in Pakistan should experience arts at least once in their lives. Either it's a good theater play, either it's a, it's a film show that is meant for them, either it's a, it's a performing uh, in a play or making a painting that they would actually cherish in their future lives. This actually makes them enable to be with, with themselves and, 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 and celebrate their certain leadership skills when their artwork is presented in an art gallery or in a bigger uh, screen if they are making film. Uh, so that's, that's where we are looking and, and this whole uh, exercise that I was dealing with that uh, one question that was continuously was uh, 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 continuously was bigger for us that curiosity is actually the basic drive towards everything and imagination is some of the most important things that we can teach to our children. There's, it's not about maths or science or or uh, or painting. It's about promoting imagination among children so they can be better better mathematicians. They can be better human beings and whatever they choose to do in their future lives. So one thing that was uh, most important even when we were uh, continuously working in the last six years that promoting that the idea that children need to be expressive. They have an equal right, uh, uh, a certain uh, a social uh, uh, position where they are treated as equal human beings. Because we as a society, I believe that we think children are our subordinates or they are not our equals as adults because they are childish or they are, you know, so we, uh, as a society, think they are not complete human beings. And, you know, sending schools or feeding them to, um, 
is uh, we think that as a parent or as a family our responsibility is done and we tend to ignore their psychosocial needs uh, which eventually help them to become uh, better human beings. Uh, imagination is so important, I'm sure I always quote that, you know, Newton uh, picked it up because he saw a fallen apple and if he would be any other ordinary person without any creative imagination, there wouldn't be no understanding of gravity and eventually no laws of motion because it was only the imagination that people uh, uh, drive us. Uh, in order to meet our mission, this is what we do. Uh, we produce Lahore International Children's Film Festival since last five years, uh, which reaches to um, around 50,000 children now each year across Pakistan. Uh, we do exhibitions of child art each year around 5,000 child artists participate in that. Um, we curate a photography exhibition and workshops with children and eventually their work of photography is also sent to other international platforms. Um, we are using theater with street children um, and organizations who are working with marginalized children so they can use theater as a psychosocial um, a tool to work with children who are in difficult situations. Uh, we are doing puppetry now with organizations um, in, who are working in public schools. So puppetry can also be introduced as an exciting tool to teach children in formal education. Thank you.